Hello and welcome to the session of Navis Work Manus 2014 brought to you by Kasim Technologies. In today's session, we are going to talk about some selection methods in Navis Work Manus 2014. And also we are going to cover the topics of how to hide and hide objects and as well as how to create section planes and section objects in Navis Work 2014. To start with, in this video, we are going to talk about the select tools in Autodesk Navis Work Manage 2014. See, for selection in Navis Work Manage 2014, we have different tools which are available in the Home tab, that is in the Select and Search panel of the Home tab of the ribbon. So you can see this selection tool that we are going to talk about. To start with the basic selection tool, we choose the select drop down and we see two types of selection tools which are available. First selection tool is a select tool. That's an obvious tool that is used for direct selection of object. We can directly select object from the drawing window. Select box tool is for the window selection where, by which you can select by creating a window in the drawing. Other selection would be by the use of the selection tree. The selection tree window is available on choosing the selection tree button which is there in the select and search panel. Once you choose the selection tree button, the selection tree window opens. In the drop down over here you can three options, standard, compact and properties. Standard option is the default option by which the elements in the drawing in the building model are arranged in a standard view. In the standard view, these are arranged as the Revit file, that is, as of the Revit, the levels in the Revit file. You can see the curtain in the level 2, the curtain panels over here will be selected, the curtain mullions will be selected, or if you go to the roof portion over here, you can see this roof is selected, which is has been assigned a no level, which has been assigned no levels. There is a, basically a column that will be selected, and some, uh, let's say, uh, over here in the level 3, I am selecting the floors. So you can see all highlighted in the blue area. So in the standard view, it is the basic view where the elements are, can be selected in a standard format. Others are compact. Compact means all elements in the second level will be selected, third level will be selected, fourth level will be. It's for the quick selection of object based on the levels. Uh, <coughs> so now that this is uh, was a quick uh, review of the selection tree window and as usual the select all select see all elements in the drawing view select none would be selecting none and same would be if you select some elements over here the invert selection will be selecting inversely of the current selection now if you have certain elements selected and you want to select the same element in the drawing view so you select an element over here in this case i have selected a all uh, wall element and if I go for a select a by name you can see all, all wall elements in the drawing would be selected because it has a similar name. So that's all uh, here um, for the selection tools next would be the height of the uh, uh, to hide the objects that are selected. Let's suppose we select an object over here and if we select the object the object will be selected and here in the visibility panel of the home tab, if we say hide, the object will be hidden. Similarly, you can unhide all to get back the hidden elements. So this was about the hide, unhide, and selection. The next thing that we are going to cover today in this discussion would be the, uh, we'll be talking about the sections. Sections, uh, here you can see we have uh, transited to the viewpoint tab from the home tab in the Autodesk Navis Work Manage 2014 and we find something over here uh, in the section and panel called the enable section. So the moment we choose this button, this uh, uh, contextual tab that is section and tools tab will be displayed. Now here we have two options, one is a planes and the other is a box. If you want to have a box sectioning, uh, this particular box will be displayed along with the uh, you know, the in the in the model, 
and you can as you move the sections would be visible throughout I'm turning the view cube in order to let you see how it works I'm moving this in the x-axis we have see three tripod one is the blue the z-axis the x and the y so uh, as I move it the section box this keeps on moving I can rotate it I can see the rotate uh, icons over here I can scale it I can scale it so I can section this element I then I go to the fit selection uh, based on the selection of the elements it put the section box will fit so that that's basically the box uh, selection come back to the plane selection uh, plane selection would be somewhat a sectioning plane which is cutting through and in uh, which is going through infinite um, area but it has it is cutting the object at a particular height so in this case let's suppose if you want to have different planes I want to put the plane one on now I select this from the drop down over here and then I keep on moving it I can see as I move this plane the object moves above so uh, now to disable sectioning go for enable sectioning button now you're disabled so hope you have enjoyed this small video on selection sectioning and hide and hide tools in Navis Work Manage 2014 thank you once again uh, have good uh, uh, experience with Navisbuck 2014. Thank you from Captain Thomas. Thanks a lot.